Yo, what's good with y'all, man? It's your brother be wildin' and I'm back again with another reaction, man. We got dark Bible stories that you never heard. We finna get right into this, see what's about. Make sure y'all wanna like, sub, sub, new time, post notifications. You can follow me at and Twitter links in the description. Hit me up over there, man. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Have you read Universal. the whole Bible, by the way? I did when I was a kid. Yeah. I actually had Bible class. We all had every month. Classes, we this know. Airbnb pays me and semi passive income. Now, here's the thing I don't own it. Have you read Universal. the whole Bible? I'll pay to my grandma and the uh, older uh, people in my family that have passed because I, I was, I went to church young. When I was like a kid, I was always in church, bro. But as I got older, I could say what, after. I was like probably nine-ish after nine I haven't really been to church like on a consistent basis I have been between nine nine years older now I have been but not on a consistent basis where I'm in there like regularly every every Sunday type you know but we all done had the moments where we, we sat down had Bible uh, classes Bible study and all that and read the Bible and stuff like that but as I got older, I haven't really, I haven't really tapped back into the Bible heavy and just like, you know, absorbed the knowledge on my own and absorbed the, the word or what we supposed to live by on my own. I haven't done it yet. I need to. I feel like it doesn't, it doesn't hurt, you know, so. Maybe one of these days, bro, soon enough, I'll get back into that. By the way? I did when I was a kid. Yeah. I actually had Bible class in Florida. When I moved from, <laughs> <laughs> when I moved from uh, San Francisco to Florida, I was 11 years old. And it was a complete polar opposite experience of the country. I lived in San Francisco with two parents who were hippies in Haight-Ashbury. So we were in the middle of like, we lived near Lombard Street. We were in the middle of like the hippie anti-war revolution of the 1960s. And then I moved to Gainesville, Florida. My stepdad was going to, uh, he was becoming an architect. He was a computer programmer and then he switched careers, became an architect. And so he was going to the University of Florida at Gainesville. And so we were there. So now all of a sudden I'm around alligators. There's fucking alligators everywhere. <laughs> it was like, what are you, are you people retarded? Why do you have giant monsters everywhere? This is so ridiculous. So we had uh, alligators, um, super weird, swampy weather, and religion. Yeah. Religion was in the schools. Like in public school, you had Bible class. And oh, they also paddled you. I don't think they don't, yeah, they don't do that in schools now. I don't even think you're allowed to. I haven't been in school for a long time. So, I know people watch my videos think I'm like a kid or something, bro. I don't know why, but <laughs> it, it definitely, every time I see the comments, like, this young man speak very wise, and it's crazy that he's so young, and he, he has, like, wisdom, da da da. And I'm just like, I'm not that young, but I'm up there in age, bro, like, literally, next week, next week, literally, I'll be 30 years old. July 5th, I will be 30 years old. I was born in 1994, graduated high school in 2012. So that give you that little time frame. So you know that I'm not capped. Like I'm literally gonna be 30 years old. But it's crazy though, people be saying that. But I have been out of school for a while though. I think what, about 12 years, something like that. And when we was in school, it wasn't no, they weren't speaking on religion. We didn't have Bible study classes or nothing like that. So I don't know what's going on now in schools, but then, nah, we didn't have that going on. First time I'd ever been hit by uh, a teacher. In they, Florida. They, I got in this fist fight with this kid and they whacked us with a paddle. One of the things that a lot of people who have read the Bible or they have read a portion of the Bible I definitely is, don't think I read the whole thing. Well, yeah, that's the thing. It's not very many people do, and that's why I asked, because a lot of it is... is kind of tedious history and there's a lot of he begats and there's the whole line you know of Christ all the ancestors and the, the whole delineation of all that and um, 
where I come from, we were encouraged to read like a verse of the Bible, but they would always tell you what it meant. Right. And so I kind of went against, I used this little pen light and like did it like late at night, but I read the whole thing cover to cover when I was eight. And if you read like every single book in order, you start to find that there's a lot of really beautiful, 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 you know, places in the Bible, but there's a lot of stuff that's really violent. And Mm. then there's a lot of stuff that contradicts itself. And it's because it was written in different time periods by different authors and different languages. And it also has historical context. And so generally there's a lot of stuff that people leave out when they teach the Bible because it's really hard to explain. Like what stuff? Well, there's, um, for example, I mean, this one's taught a little bit, but David, King David, I'm sure Mm -hmm. you've heard of him, like as of David and Goliath, Mm -hmm. but then he became a powerful king. And he saw this woman who, this woman is often talked about Bathsheba. He sees her bathing on a roof. And where we came from, we were taught like she shouldn't have been bathing on the roof. Now, I don't know. <laughs> right? Anyway, he, he demands that she come to him. And she is the wife of a soldier of his named Uriah, a top soldier. And he commands her to lie with him. And she becomes pregnant. And then King David, who is the same guy who had the slingshot of David and Goliath, mm-hmm decides that he's got to figure out how to get her husband back so that her husband can go sleep with her and her husband won't do it because he's loyal to the army and he's he comes back but he sleeps like at the, the floor of the castle you know trying to wait a minute be, he's trying to get the husband to go back with the wife because so that she the pregnancy will seem like it's his oh right yeah so in the bible in the bible that's dirty crazy. david yeah exactly you and it doesn't even david. in there yo that's crazy i didn't know no- see that's wild. So Uriah won't do it because Uriah is loyal to David. Oh boy. And so then David sends him to the front lines to have him be killed. Oh boy. So that he can marry his wife and get away with that child's not being um, a bastard child. Illegitimate. Oh boy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then crazy, God kills bro. the child because, you know, needs to make the point that David was. And think about poor Bathsheba. I mean, she's just been. His like, eyes did the same shit mine just did when I heard that. Like, what? Wrong around. Her husband gets killed. All these things. Her kid dies because God is punishing David. And her and husband got killed because he was loyal to the guy who got her pregnant. Absolutely. That's not a story a lot of people hear. Oh, my God. But you can fact check that one if you'd like. Oh, no, I believe you. <laughs> I'm good at that. I'm good at just, okay, I'll, now so, I'll go argue it. <laughs> Want to hear another Bible story? Sure. Mm. There was a woman named Tamar, and she had been married to uh, one of three sons. I think there was three. And uh, her husband died before giving her a child. So as was the custom in the time and perhaps the law, she married the brother of her dead husband. And that man would not give her a child because he didn't want to have a child in his brother's name. And so they're allowed to have more than one wife. But this woman was not allowed to have a child. So he does something they call onanism. So he like spilled his seed on the ground instead of inside of hers that she couldn't have a baby. And so God gets really mad because Onan will not impregnate her. And so Onan gets killed too. And so then her father-in-law decides not to marry her off to the youngest brother because two of the brothers are already dead, right? And he doesn't want to lose his only son. So he just banishes her and she has nothing because what does a woman have at the time if she doesn't have a husband or a child? She has no ability to make a living in the world. And so this man is um, the father-in-law is really unkind to her in a way that she decides she needs to take something into her own hands. And so she dresses up like a prostitute and goes to the side of the road. And as he's traveling on the road, she puts herself in front of him and, and offers her services. And he sleeps with her and he does not have payment on him for some reason. And so he gives her his staff, which is um, a token of his word or something. So at least he's paying his prostitute. And uh, she gets pregnant from this. And he orders her when he finds out she's pregnant to be stoned to death, you know, to be killed and executed because, you know, she's not allowed to have Bro, the story just got crazier and crazier as it went on. Like, what? A prostitute to getting stoned whoa, whoa, whoa. That is crazy. The baby outside of wedlock and she said, okay, but let me just return this staff to you that um, I got from the father of the baby. And so then he ends up protecting her and she gets to have the child and that child is in the line of Christ. Whoa. Yeah. So really interesting things. I don't know what you're supposed to learn from that story. Um, when I was a kid reading this, I would ask and of course no one really wanted to tell me <laughs> because she was rewarded for that. That's the interesting thing. It's cr- the, the stories are crazy. It crazy it's, it's just if you're being honest and if you believe in God, but you also know that people are full of shit, you have to put all this stuff through a filter. You just have to. 
And it doesn't mean that there's no God. <laughs> of course. It doesn't mean that. It just it means there's probably something in these stories. But we have to be real careful with what that something is. Well, and have, I don't profess to know. I don't, I don't know why. They condone slavery. The Bible sure. condones slavery. Mm-hmm. Like, flat out. It's, it's in there all the time. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> yes. <laughs> women are essentially second-class citizens. And you know what I found out recently? That there was a woman before Eve depending on who you ask. Yeah. So what, what was that one? Yeah, well, that's, that's crazy, though. Yeah. So, see, I don't get deep into stuff like that, but it's just so much. Like, that you'll, if you read the Bible or if you, or certain religions, I should say, will say this and that. And then this one, like, this religion probably don't teach up on that where it's not involved in it like it's, it's just weird how i don't know <laughs> it, it's just crazy it just baffles me like how how much religions could be completely different from this one and stuff like that like, like i said i don't get deep into that because it's not i don't question nobody else's beliefs if you believe that that's you i, I don't i don't question it i'm not going to argue with you about it because at the end of the day is what you believe in, right? So if you believe that, it's what you believe. It's as simple as that. It's not in the 66 books of the Bible that most people are taught in the Protestant tradition or the 69 or whatever in the Catholic tradition. Um, that's part of the Apocrypha. So they are, these are books of the Bible that didn't make it into, you know, Christianity as such that we... The editor's cut. Today. Yeah, it was an editor's cut, exactly. <laughs> Yeah, let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section below, man. Make sure I remember to like some of you YouTube post notifications. Y'all can follow IG and Twitter links in the description. Hit me both grab, man. We going crazy over that 200K. Let's keep running it up. It's your boy to be wildin'. And I'm out.